Happy Valentine's Day. February the 14th. In the garage, we got a 2010 Viking Yamaha Viking Pro Professional. We're just uh, replacing the starter here. I want to give you a little video. Uh, it says online, and it says at the dealer, that that engine got to come into that machine in order to get the starter on, which is right underneath the engine, between that and the billy pan. So we just, me and father, want to put a little video on just uh, to give everybody a, a, a quick way to do it. What we've done first is uh, remove the breeder and the battery and the cross member that goes through on the bottom there that holds the, holds the battery in place, the battery box. We took the primary clutch off. Hard to see there now that much light. To access the motor mounts and obviously the two side plastics, shrouds and the plate underneath the engine that houses the for the oil filter access that's where your starter got to come down so we took the filter off there we're just draining the oil there now we got the starter put back on but it's probably like a two hour what do you say as far as two hour job? three hours two three <clears throat> hours taking your time you know Valentine's Day There's not much room for it to come out there, but it uh, it needs to come down. For the oil reservoir, we just let that go and slid it over to the side because there's a mount, engine mounting on the back of that there. So I think the uh, shop time was like 12, 13 hours out of Yamaha I take to remove the engine. The first, first step, remove engine assembly. So just a little bit better of a Decent job. He wants her off the ground six, seven inches if you can. Get underneath it. And a Kim Pet starter is what we got there. But the Yamaha one was about 900 bucks or something. 778 plus tax. The Yamaha one. And it's nice to check if you got it off. Take the spline. You see on that one, there's a little bit of damage on it. Put the ring gear now inside the. Uh, that goes on the uh, stator side. Looks to be in good shape. So whatever chips come off that, can hopefully just come off the gear on starter. Not inside the engine. So we bench test the starter over there with a little noise in first. But he seems to be all right. So hopefully we get her back together. No issues. And just put two straps there, just to take the weight off the engine from the motor mounts. And that just gave us enough, probably about three quarters of an inch to get starter down through. So we hope for the best. Wednesday is gonna be eight degrees and rain. So if we get starter on now, just get her back to shed. Best of time.